Hello everyone. So the next topic in our SAP learning series is understanding the different types of SAP projects. When we join any organization, a consulting company, a implementation partner, okay, so we, we work on certain type of projects. So let's have a look what are the different types of projects are there in the market on which the consultant usually work. So the first type here we can call as the implementation project. In the implementation project, further we have that is the green field, brown field, and blue field. What are all these? I will explain. So in the implementation, we have this three category. The next type of project is we have rollout project, and then we have one support project. Okay, so let's understand one by one all in the detail. The first is the implementation project, and that is a greenfield implementation. A greenfield implementation means a company currently they are not using SAP system. Okay, so they might be using some other ERP, other non SAP system, and they want to implement the SAP system. So this is called as a fresh implementation. Okay, we can call as a fresh implementation, we can call this as a greenfield implementation where currently there is no SAP system in that company. Okay, so the company is agreed to move to SAP system either on-premise or on cloud based on their requirement. So when we are involved in such kind of project where in that company there is no SAP as of now and we have to work from scratch. Okay, so those are known as a greenfield implementation. Most of the time in the job description the, the like in the JD they mention like one end to end implementation is required, two end to end implementation is required. So that means that a consultant should involve in a project where the development is done from the completely scratch. Okay, so once we work in on such project, so we can call this as a end to end implementation we have done. Fine. So this is the greenfield implementation. So when a company is going for the green, uh, greenfield implementation or we can call as a fresh implementation, first they have to purchase the license from the SAP. Okay. So based on the number of users in SAP, there are different types of users are there like development user, professional user, product user. Okay. As a developer, we use the developer user, which is costly compared to the product user. Okay. So Every company, when they are going for the fresh SAP implementation, the first they need to purchase a license from SAP. Okay. After that, then they have to like either purchase the hardware or they can take on rent from different service provider like Azure, Google, AWS. The different hardware providers are there in the market. Okay, so if they're not going on cloud, if they want they're going for on premises, then we have to coordinate with the hardware vendor hmm, for the SAP installation. So at every place there is a cost involved. For license there is a huge cost. For hardware there is a cost. Okay. Then the company need to identify the implementation partner. Okay. So because this is a company currently they're not using SAP, they don't have any idea. Okay. Very rarely big company develop the in-house team and then implement. So most of the time what they do, they hire an implementation partner. For example, the Reliance is a company and they want to implement the SAP. So for the implementation partner, they can search in the market, they can go with the PwC, IBM, Accenture, TechM, many companies are there. Okay, so that company, if Reliance want to implement SAP, they will coordinate with the implementation partner for the further activities. In that implementation partner, they do all the required activity for that implementation. I'm not going into the detailed steps of implementation. Higher level, they have to hire an implementation partner who will do the all the implementation activity for that company. Then after that, like they can build an in-house team. Okay, implementation partner will be there for one year, two year. After that, with the in-house team, they can manage their project. 
Then there's the AMC plan. Here, two level AMC is there. One is every company when they purchase the ACP license, so every year they have to pay the AMC to the ACP system. Okay, they have to uh, pay some, I think, 20 22 percent every year they have to pay to SAP. That is one. Second, AMC for the implementation partner or support partner after implementing the SAP system to handle the day-to-day -day support and activity. If they want support, they can also give the AMC for the support activity. So all those steps are involved in a fresh implementation of SAP system. Fine. So let's move on. So the next is the Brownfield implementation. So Brownfield implementation, we can also call as a migration project. Okay. So in this Brownfield implementation or migration project, here the scenario is the company already using an SAP system. Okay, they might be using the SAP AC system and they want to move on to S4 HANA. Okay, with the custom code, all the inbuilt function, all the configuration, existing function configuration, and the custom code which they implement, they want to migrate, they want to upgrade the system from ECC to the S4 HANA system. Okay, so those type of projects are called as a brownfield implementation, migration project. Okay, so those are called as a brownfield migration project. One uh, one project type I forgot to mention, that is the upgrade project. So in case of upgrade project, consider a scenario like currently they're using the S4 HANA, let's say 1709, and they want to go for 2020 or 2022. So even though they're using the S4 HANA, but they want to upgrade that system to the latest one, latest version of SAP HANA. So that kind of projects are called as an upgrade project. They're upgrading the same system from the lower version of SAP to the latest release. Those type of projects are called as an upgrade project. Okay, so Brownfield migrating from ECC to the S4 HANA upgrade is upgrading the existing system to the latest version. And one more is there that is blue, uh, blue field. Okay, so blue field we can call as a combination of both, combination of green field and a brown field. Here, we implement a new system. Okay, we are implementing a new system along with the data migration from the old system. But here we are not migrating all the data. Selective data we want to migrate. Okay, let's say there are thousand vendors are there in one system. We are going for new implementation, but we know okay, 900 are one time vendors and only 100 vendors are there which we require now. So, only selective data, selective configuration, all details you can transfer in the new system. Okay, so the selective transition we can call as the blue field. Fine. So the next is the rollout project. So in the rollout project, the company already using the SAP system for one of the plant. They have done the fresh implementation, okay, for one of the plant. Everything is working fine. Everything is working fine as per the need. It is working perfectly fine. But initially, they implemented only for the one plant. Okay, only for the one plant. And after some months, Okay, if they open any new plan or they have the existing plan, but currently they're not using SAP for that. So in that case, that kind of project, what they will do, they will replicate all the configuration which they have done for this first plan, the first company, the, all the configuration they will replicate with new ideas and everything to the new plant. So those type of projects are called as a rollout project. That is replicating the existing implementation of one company, one plan to the new company or new plan. Those are called as a rollout project. And the last is a support project where we usually work most of the time. The support project is basically to handle the day-to-day -day activity, day-to-day -day errors. Okay, because there are multiple users working. So if they're having any errors, so we require a support team, okay, who can support the end user to solve their day-to-day -day errors. 
support team also involved to develop some kind of reports, some kind of like print forms, etc., which are required for the company. Because the implementation is already done. But after that also, like based on some, uh, like we can call it the taxation changes, okay, some new printout, some new logo, company logo they want to add, they want to change some address. So all these things are comes under the support project. Fine. So those are the different projects in SAP. So whenever you are joining any project, okay, sometime, sometime they will directly ask like, okay, so we have the implementation project. So are you, uh, have you done any kind of end-to-end -end implementation? Okay, and uh, sometimes the company, they may ask, okay, we have only support projects, so are you interested in this? So we should know, like, what is the difference between the implementation, what is the rollout, and support project, fine? So in this way, we done with a session on SAP project implementation type. Thank you.